Once upon a time, in a picturesque village nestled deep within the embrace of a lush and ancient forest, there lived a man named Kai. From the earliest days of his memory, Kai had been on a relentless quest, one that spanned continents and decades, a quest for the elusive secret of happiness. Driven by an insatiable thirst for joy, he had journeyed to far-off lands, scaling towering mountains, traversing endless deserts, and crossing vast oceans. He had studied the teachings of ancient philosophies, sought the counsel of wise sages, and danced with the fleeting pleasures of the world, all in his unyielding pursuit of that ever-elusive happiness. Yet, despite his tireless efforts, happiness remained an enigmatic spectre, always tantalizingly close, but just out of reach. He had chased after wealth, chasing the gilded allure of riches that glittered like stars in the night sky. He had pursued fame, seeking the adoration of crowds that roared like tempestuous oceans. And he had indulged in pleasures, hoping that they would fill the void in his heart. But no matter how grand the treasure he amassed, how deafening the applause he received, or how intoxicating the pleasures he indulged in, the joy he sought remained ephemeral, a butterfly fluttering just beyond his grasp. One fateful day, as Kai sat beneath the shade of a mighty oak tree, the weight of his endless search pressed upon him like a leaden shroud. He felt weary and disheartened, a weary traveller who had traversed a thousand roads only to find himself lost in a dense, bewildering forest of despair. It was at this moment of profound desolation that an old monk named Master Zenko, known throughout the village for his wisdom and serenity, appeared like a wisp of mist emerging from the shadows of the woods. His eyes twinkled with an inner light that drew people toward him, a light that seemed to emanate from the very depths of his soul. Kai looked at Zenko with a mixture of curiosity and frustration, his eyes betraying the exhaustion of a lifelong journey. Master Zenko, he began, his voice tinged with a hint of desperation. I have traversed the world in search of happiness, but I have found it nowhere. I have pursued the grandest treasures, tasted the sweetest pleasures, and basked in the brightest fame. But nothing brings lasting joy. Can you, wise one, show me the way to true happiness? Master Zenko smiled kindly at Kai, his ancient eyes crinkling at the corners, as if they held a secret known only to the universe. He approached Kai and seated himself beside him, casting a comforting shadow over the weary traveller. My dear friend, Zenko began, his voice a soothing melody that seemed to resonate with the very rhythms of the forest. You have journeyed far and wide in search of happiness, but you have overlooked the most profound and fulfilling place of all, the spirituality zone within your own heart. Kai was puzzled by these words, his brow furrowing as he considered them. Spirituality zone? he asked, his voice tinged with both curiosity and skepticism. Zenko nodded, his silvery hair rustling in the gentle breeze that stirred the leaves of the ancient oak. Yes, Kai, he replied, his words carrying the weight of profound truth. True happiness is not found in the external world, but within yourself. It begins with finding purpose in life, aligning your actions with your deepest values, and nurturing your spiritual well-being. It is a journey inward, not outward. Kai listened intently, his soul yearning for the wisdom that Zenko seemed to possess. He hung onto Zenko's every word as the old monk continued, his voice like a gentle stream that flowed through the depths of Kai's consciousness. To find happiness, Zenko advised, you must first learn the art of gratitude meditation. Each day, take a moment to reflect on the blessings in your life, no matter how small they may seem. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude, and you will begin to see the beauty in every moment, no matter how mundane or challenging. Kai was eager to learn more, his heart yearning for the guidance that had eluded him for so long. And what more, Master Zenko? he asked, his eyes shining with newfound hope. Zenko smiled, a serene and knowing smile that seemed to hold the wisdom of countless ages. 
Helping others is another key to happiness, he shared, his voice like a gentle breeze that carried the scent of blooming flowers. When you extend a helping hand to those in need, you not only make their lives better, but also experience a profound sense of fulfillment and purpose. It is in the act of selflessly giving that you discover the boundless wellspring of joy that lies within your own heart. Kai absorbed these teachings with a fervor that he had not felt in years. He realized that he had been chasing the wrong shadows, pursuing the illusory pleasures of the world while neglecting the riches that lay hidden within himself. But what about personal growth? Kai asked, his eyes bright with curiosity. How does that fit into the tapestry of happiness? Zenko nodded approvingly, acknowledging the importance of Kai's question. Personal growth is essential on your journey to happiness, he affirmed, his words resonating with the wisdom of ages past. Continuously challenge yourself, learn new things, and embrace change with an open heart. Growth allows you to evolve and become a better version of yourself, and in that evolution you will find the joy of self-discovery. As Kai absorbed these words, he couldn't help but ponder the role of negativity and unhappiness in his life. And what about negativity? He inquired, his voice tinged with a touch of trepidation. How do the shadows of negativity and unhappiness impact our lives? Zenko's gaze turned compassionate as he addressed Kai's concern. Negativity and unhappiness, he began, his voice a soothing balm for Kai's troubled soul are like heavy clouds that obscure the sun of joy. They rob you of your energy, creativity, and peace. To find happiness, you must let go of negativity, cultivate a positive mindset, and release any attachments that no longer serve you. It is in the clearing of these clouds that the radiant sun of happiness can shine upon your life once more. Kai reflected on his past struggles, the turbulent seas he had navigated, and the endless deserts he had crossed in his search for happiness. He realized that his pursuit had been driven by external desires and distractions, a ceaseless chase after illusions that had only led him further away from his true self. With renewed determination burning in his heart, Kai made a solemn vow to follow Master Zenko's teachings. He began practicing gratitude meditation daily, taking those precious moments to acknowledge the blessings that adorned his life, no matter how modest they may seem. He extended his hand to those in need, offering his assistance and kindness without expecting anything in return, and in those acts of selflessness, he discovered the profound fulfillment that comes from making a difference in the lives of others. Kai also embraced personal growth with an unyielding spirit, seeking out new challenges, acquiring new knowledge, and wholeheartedly embracing change as an opportunity for growth and transformation. He found that each step on the path of self-improvement brought him closer to the happiness he had sought for so long. And so, as the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, and the months into years, Kai underwent a remarkable transformation. The once weary traveler became a content and enlightened soul, a beacon of happiness and wisdom in the tranquil village deep within the forest. His life became a testament to the power of inner peace and the profound joy that emerged from living a life aligned with purpose and spirituality. Kai, the seeker of happiness, had discovered that the spirituality zone within his own heart held the key to total happiness. The villagers marveled at the transformation that had taken place within Kai, for he had gone from a wanderer lost in the labyrinth of desires to a sage who radiated serenity and contentment. His presence was a soothing balm to their troubled hearts, a living testament to the profound truth that happiness, the most sought-after treasure of all, was not a distant mirage, but a radiant jewel that had always been within their grasp. In the tranquil village deep within the forest, Kai's name became synonymous with happiness, his teachings a guiding light for all who sought the elusive secret of joy. His wisdom touched the lives of countless souls, inspiring them to embark on their own journeys within, to find the happiness that had always resided within their hearts, 
waiting to be discovered. And as the seasons turned and the forest thrived, the tale of Kai and Master Zenko became a cherished legend, a timeless reminder that true happiness is not a distant destination, but a radiant state of being that can be cultivated from within, a treasure hidden within the spirituality zone of one's own heart. <laughs>